Hello, everybody. This is Di Antinatalist, and um, every week these, these catalogs come, and no matter what you do, even if you call customer service and you tell them to take them off your list, it, it doesn't do a bit of good. But, you know, I'm always compelled to open up the pages and to look at the new clothing and, and whatever. But I've come to the conclusion that it's not the clothing that... Um, is desirous. It's not the clothing that compels us to actually purchase their goods. It is the women or the men, that is, if you were, you know, watching, uh, if you were flipping through a male, a male magazine, but it is the bodies, it is the, the look, it is the glamour, it is the exoticness, it is the suntans, um, um, the, the, the nice, youthful bodies. Um, maybe you like the sunglasses, but you're actually gonna, you know, you're lured to buy the pants, but the whole look is just exciting. And then when you buy the pants and you put them on, they're like, eh, <laughs> man, <laughs> that didn't, you know, do anything for me. And so much of what we're lured to is illusion, or delusion, but it's a, it's just fantasy. It's pure fantasy. I mean, for instance, look at this woman. Okay. She's got gr a great tan <laughs> and she's just strolling, you know, down a city street and it looks uncomplicated. Her life looks uncomplicated, but in real life, if you were walking down the street, you would probably have some bags in tow and the bags would um, you know, slow you down as a pedestrian and, you know, it wouldn't look as glamorous as just walking down the street with a, um, around the shoulder, you know, bag uh, over your neck. And look at this position here. I mean, you know, you're not going to find somebody <laughs> sitting like that in real life, but, you know, it really makes the clothes look good, doesn't it? I love that, you know, they, they photograph these, um, these ladies in really nice settings. Like, look at the background. Look at that beautiful lamppost. And our entire ensemble is just, you know, well put together, even the earrings and then the, the bangle bracelet. And, um, you know, she just looks elegant, but, you know, unless you're posed, unless you have filters, and um, lighting and, um, you know, hairstylist and makeup artist, you're not going to look like that. So I believe that much of what is sold in the magazines um, is the entire setting, is the background, is the fantasy that we all seek. I mean, look at that. It just makes you want to go out and buy a moped, doesn't it? She's like, wow, you know, if, if she's, if she's that happy and she's, you know, on vacation, looks like Greece or somewhere, I don't know, maybe, maybe in the mountains of Mexico or something, but look how happy she looks. And, you know, there's no rain, there's no snow, um, there's no sleet, there's no hail. It's just a per perfect sunny day. They do not, um, film these these ads, these women on, on a gray, rainy day, uh, they're all, look at her, look how happy she is. It's just so phony. And, you know, like, this is not my favorite magazine by any stretch. This is um really my least favorite. And I've tried to get them to take me off their list, but they won't. <laughs> um, and then, you know, one of these days, I'll probably flip through and just find it irresistible and, you know, order something and then the cycle just continues again. But, um, what, you know, what is consistent in the, in these magazines is that every one of the women has beautiful skin and, um, you know, the, the, the black women have beautiful skin. Uh, the, the white women are, um, you know, tanned. I mean, let me find a, a white woman and um, compare it to my skin color. Okay. Well, there's 
there's like my natural skin color. I'm a little bit darker than uh, most people, but just look at the perfection of the skin and how airbrushed it is compared to like real skin. Now, I'm, you know, twice her age, but, um, you know, just look at a, just look at my finger color compared to her arm. Like, look at the beauty of this dark, you know, tan skin and, and look at the beach here. Everybody dreams about being on the beach. But the beach is often hot. Here we go. Beach ready. And, you know, the, the, these girls are really tall. And that's why they make, you know, good models. Is because it, um, their entire body is lengthened. And it's, you know, uh, flexible and trim and elegant looking. But, you know, she's carrying uh, this... Um, you know, life, um, this, um, float. And like, if I were to carry this float, like it would basically touch the ground because I'm so short, but in her, it looks elegant. And you know, look, she doesn't even have a figure flaw because it's all been airbrushed. Again, this is real skin color folks. And this is probably a white woman. And look how dark they have made her skin. And I'm relatively dark for a, 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 an angle person. Um, I have olive complexion. So what they are selling us is um, perfection and fantasy and the beach and the mountains and sunny days. And that is something that a lot of us do not have. And a lot of us, you know, are not, you know, 23 anymore. And, um, um, nobody that I really know of has perfect skin. I mean, 0%. Um, only if we could all be airbrushed. So, uh, anyway, yeah, back to, um, you know, they just look so perfect with, you know, their, their sunglasses and their belts and their bracelets and just everything is designed to lure you as a customer. And this could be anything. This could be new car sales. This could be, uh, you know, like a sports magazine. This could be a bodybuilders magazine or, you know, something that's trying to sell you on something, whether it's physical fitness or whether it's buying something, mostly for buying something because uh, marketing is a very important uh, tool. And um, this is a consumer driven world. So, just uh, remember that, you know, when you look through the catalogs and you go, wow, I just love that dress. Just remember that it is posed on a model and it is airbrushed with a background. And look at that background. It's either like Greece or Mexico. It's just beautiful and it's pristine with the water in the background. So, um you know when you when you when you're looking to to buy a dress from a magazine um uh, just just consider you know <laughs> the the entire picture consider the background consider her accessories consider her face her youth her hair i mean um, most models have somewhat long hair and this one is uh braided somewhat but um you know not everybody can grow luscious long beautiful hair um, but, you know, again, these are airbrushed images. If you were to take these women and if you were to like see them, you know, walking down the street, they would never look like this without the lighting and the makeup and the hair and the accessories and the pose. So a lot of what our life is built around is image, illusion, delusion, fantasy, um, <laughs> Uh, you know, um, glamour. This is just not reality. Unfortunately, reality is bland, folks. And unfortunately, reality includes rainy weather and snowy, slushy weather and gray skies. Thank you for watching.